Alrighty, in Exodus chapter 20, verse 15, it reads, You shall not steal. And so why is this particular, um, you could say, law a commandment that God gave? Well, just to be uh, quite honest, God uh, commandments are made in general because uh, God wanted his people to be set apart, meaning holy and righteousness, or holy and righteous apart from other nations that were out there. And so uh, God really considers like stealing an unholy act. And so he wants his people to, you know, to do better, to be better. And so um, he set that law in place. But also, if you read, uh, you could say further, um, he also um, told Moses to have, you, you know, you say the consequences of breaking that commandment. And so it could come in the form of, but not limited to, uh, in Exodus chapter 22, verse 1 through 2, it reads this. If a man steals an ox or a sheep and slaughters it or sells it, he shall pay five for the oxen and four sheep for the sheep. If the thief is caught while breaking in and is struck so that he dies, there will be no blood guiltness on his account. And so we see that now that it's, it's pretty much a lose-lose situation if you were caught stealing. Basically, you had to repay like quadruple or is it three times? Uh, oh, fivefold. <laughs> fivefold or quadruple of what you stole. And you could potentially lose your life as well if you were caught stealing. And there would be no guilt, no nothing against the person who killed you. But it's only if you were caught stealing. But yet, here's the thing. There's always one person who sees and who knows what you are doing. I'll take. I'll let you take a guess at that. <laughs> and so, um, you could say the you uh, you could say the last uh, less like you reason why they uh, wouldn't steal because uh, of course everything that's happened so far they had to trust God in order to receive. They had to have faith in order to receive. And so uh, uh, in this case. It's God doesn't want people to steal because he wants them to focus on uh, God's like trusting in God and his provision for uh, his people such as and it may be work as well such as in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 28 it reads this he who steals must steal no longer but rather he must labor performing with his own hands what is good so that he will have something to share with one who has need. And uh, you could say bring it back to the being holy uh, part. And so, uh, in, in other words, like God just like he, he wants you to be holy, uh, like and not steal in this life or as well, because it reflects on where you're going to go afterwards as well. Such as in First Corinthians chapter six, verse 10, it also said in there that thieves will not inherit the kingdom of God.